Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Asif Qureshi and you are watching Dr. Asif Lectures. Today we are going to discuss about protein metabolism. Now whenever you eat protein, the protein is ultimately broken down into two things in your body. One is the carbon skeleton and you must understand that the carbon skeleton is either utilized to give you fuel as energy, ATP, by entering into different pathways that we have already discussed or the carbon skeleton can be used as a precursor for synthesis of biomolecules. The other thing that is the end product of amino acid metabolism is ammonia. And that ammonia, you should understand, is toxic to your body. Therefore, this ammonia has to be taken out of the body either in the form of urea or in the form of ammonium which is from the kidneys and urea is from the liver. So from the very outset of the lecture today, please understand that the amino acid metabolism ends into two products. It's the carbon skeleton and the other thing is the ammonia. Ammonia is toxic, so you have to get rid of ammonia and the carbon skeleton is utilized within the body, okay? Now let's move on to understanding how amino acid metabolism actually take place in your body. Now, on this diagram here, you see different types of cells. These include kidneys and most cells of the body depicted on the uh, lower right side of this diagram and then we have intestinal cells muscle cells and liver cells okay and we will try to understand that what happens i told you that protein ultimately breaks down into either the carbon skeleton or the ammonia okay and you have to get rid of that ammonia now ammonia is basically thrown out of the body by kidney cells in two forms and they are written down there either in the ammonium form or in the urea form okay and both urea and ammonia they get out of the kidneys in the form of uh, in the form of urine okay so most of the secretion of uh, nitrogen end product is via urea which is around 85 to 88 percent and ammonium is less than five percent but anyways these are the end products which gets out of the body in the form of urine and they are the end product of amino acid or nitrogen or protein metabolism okay now we need to understand what from where is ammonium coming okay now this is an important thing in most of the cells of the body, there is protein deamination going on as a result of which ammonia is produced. Now, ammonia cannot be directly transported into the blood so that it goes to kidneys to be excreted out in the form of ammonia mine. Why we cannot uh, release ammonia in the blood directly? Because ammonia is toxic. This toxic ammonia, if it is released in the blood, it will change the pH, it will increase the pH, and that will be toxic for the tissues. So body has a very beautiful way of handling it. What happens in most of the cells that this ammonia helps in an amination reaction as a result of which you see glutamate is converted into glutamine by an enzyme which is called glutamine synthase. Now once the glutamine is produced, the glutamine gets out in the blood reaches the kidney and glutamine is again converted into glut glutamate this time releasing ammonia and this ammonia is then excreted out of the body as ammonium ion now see this is a beautiful concept that you should understand many cells of your body produce ammonia by deamination of various proteins now that ammonia is not directly released into the blood because it is toxic so it has to be first converted into something which is non-toxic and that something is glutamine. So many cells of your body are basically releasing glutamine and that glutamine comes out in the blood and goes to the kidney and hair. Glutamine is again converted back into glutamate releasing the ammonia. You see how beautifully you transfer ammonia which is produced in many cells of your body to kidney without being ammonia releasing into the blood. So the toxic effect of ammonia is neutralized because ammonia is not released. Ammonia is first converted into glutamine and glutamine is actually released. So this is the way your body tries to save you from the effects of ammonia, okay? So once glutamine is inside the kidney, it is converted back to glutamate and ammonia is released. Now, this ammonia is then released out of your body. You pee this out in your urine, okay? Now, what happens next? Urea, 
the other end product of protein metabolism is basically coming from the urea cycle and urea cycle largely happens inside the liver okay the liver produces urea which comes out in the blood and urea um, does not make your blood alkaline so it comes out in the blood and ultimately goes to the kidney and from the kidney it gets out of the body okay now urea contains two nitrogen each urea molecule contains two nitrogen and you must understand what are the sources of those nitrogen molecules okay so one source is obviously ammonium and from where is the ammonium coming a couple of sources now you see what happens in intestine the glutamine which is produced in most of the cells goes to the intestinal cells and in the intestine glutamine is converted into glutamate as a result ammonia is released and that ammonia is taken up by the liver now listen carefully this ammonia is released into the blood but this is the portal blood and when we say portal blood it means that this ammonia is directly taken up by the liver thankfully not increasing the pH of the general circulation okay so this ammonia is directly taken up by the liver and in the liver this ammonia enters in the urea cycle okay so it is converted into urea one of the nitrogen is coming from ammonium so this is one way intestine is contributing to uh, the formation of urea in the liver via urea cycle now you also should understand that in intestine there is another source of ammonia which is uh, intestinal flora intestinal bacteria okay and also the protein which we eat dietary protein contributes to the formation of glutamine now this is one source one nitrogen source for urea cycle i'm telling you that urea cycle which happens inside the liver ultimately produces urea and that urea cycle has two sources, two major sources of nitrogen. One of them is ammonia and ammonia is coming from intestine via glutamine. Okay. What is the other source of ammonia? There is muscle metabolism. Inside the muscles, amino acids are converted into alpha keto acids. Okay. And as a result of a series of amination and deamination process, alanine is the end product. Now, alanine once produced is released into the blood and inside the liver, it again undergoes a series of amination and deamination processes, ultimately releasing ammonia. So here is the story. Your body is handling amino acids in such a way that the end product, which is ammonia, is not directly released into the blood. It is either carried as glutamine or it is either being carried as alanine okay so it is uh, entering uh, different tissues of your body not directly as ammonia which is very toxic but is either converted into glutamine or into alanine okay so in the liver urea cycle is taking place and urea i told you contains two nitrogen molecules one of the nitrogen source for urea is ammonia ammonia is coming from intestine to the liver and ammonia is also being converted via glutamate alanine which is coming from the muscle cells okay now i told you that urea contains two nitrogen one of the source is ammonia what do you think is the other source for nitrogen for urea and the other source is aspartate and aspartate is produced in the liver via a series of amination and deamination procedures. And here is an important point. I told you that alanine is being produced and you see the enzyme here, ALT, alanine transferase, which is involved in this. I told you aspartate is produced in the liver via an enzyme which is called AST. And both these enzymes, ALT and AST, has pathological implications. Both these enzymes may go up regulated in liver uh, conditions whenever there is a liver injury these enzymes are high in numbers and they are released into circulation okay so remember this pathological correlation but also remember that alt is also present in uh, muscles so you you have to be really cautious when you are labeling that the alt and ast levels are basically coming from the liver okay so let, let me one more time summarize the whole thing for you how is the protein or the amino acids being handled in your body what is the end product either ammonia or urea now ammonia is released in the urine as ammonia mine and urea is also being released in the urine now in the kidney ammonia is coming from 
uh, most of the cells not as ammonia but as glutamine and we have discussed this in detail okay now in the liver urea is being produced and urea uh, contains two nitrogen molecules and you now understand that one of the source for nitrogen is uh, ammonia and the other source is aspartate ammonia itself is either being produced from glutamine or from glutamate which is actually being produced by the alanine which is being sent by the muscle cells okay so you have to understand all this so if we summarize this all in this next slide that what are the sources for nitrogen in urea i told you there are two sources one is aspartic acid and the other one is ammonia and ammonia itself is either coming from um, the glutamine or glutamate via alanine okay so remember guys this is the very basic overview of protein metabolism all proteins in your body are ultimately destroyed into ammonia and urea and you must understand that your body beautifully controls this that the ammonia is not released into circulation because we cannot afford it if ammonia is released into circulation, that will be toxic for the body. And therefore, your body delivers ammonia in the form of glutamine or in the form of alanine, which are non-toxic. So these glutamine and alanine, once they reach in the tissues, either kidney or liver cells, there they are again converted into some other amino acid, releasing the ammonia, okay? So ammonia handling is very, very carefully regulated. And ultimately, ammonia is excreted out in urine, urea is excreted out in urine and this is the way your body controls it so i hope you understand this if you're not um, then please rewind the video watch it again and again subscribe the channel like the video share the video and i'll be back with another video soon thank you